All right, I don't want to jinx anything, but the Chicago Cubs have advanced to the World Series, and I'm only saying this because it is right now the top of the seventh inning as we are recording this video, and the Cubs are ahead five to nothing. So I don't want to jinx anything yet, but I'm filming this just in case. But the Chicago Cubs have advanced to the World Series, but can they end their drought? That is the question. They're going to have their hands full with the Cleveland Indians in this World Series. It's going to be a really interesting World Series to watch. I mean, at the beginning of the season, how many people would have really predicted this matchup in the World Series? It's like one of the most unprecedented years in sports. Just so much parity and everything. Where we, there's no Cardinals, there's no Giants, there's, there's no Yankees or Red Sox. There's like none of these like power... Those, these power and elite MLB teams. And I did say in the video the other day that the Indians are playing this year in the playoffs more like the Royals did in 2014. Just playing team baseball. Had decent batting, but just superb pitching, especially in the bullpen. But for the Cubs to make to this point, many were anticipating that the Cubs were actually going to win the World Series here. They said 2016 is the year... Cubs fans were saying it. People thought they were delusional, and here they are. I mean, back in April, Kyle, they lose Kyle Schwaber for the season. But he could come back as a designated hitter for this World Series. I mean, you got talented players like Chris Bryant. Anthony Rizzo was kind of struggling in the postseason up until Game 5. Until Game 5, Game 4. See, before, like... Before he got out in a streak, he was 1 for 26 in the postseason. And pitching with Arietta and Lester, they looked dominant. I mean, they went into the All-Star with the best record in the major leagues, but after that, they kind of just went on a kind of a slump a little bit. They kept losing games, they kept losing their confidence, but they still ended with the best record in the league. I mean, I even said that the Cubs can actually win the World Series this year. I didn't say they necessarily would have, but they have a really good shot. I would have. I said that if there was a year to put the Cubs in the World Series, it'd be this year. Because of all that talent they had. Just go back to free agency, where they picked up Ben Zobrist. Hayward. They picked up all those guys. And, and before the trade deadline... They picked up Araldis Chapman. So they were building for this year. They were building for the future, especially to win it this year. And right now it looks like they are four wins away from finally ending that drought of not winning the World Series since 1908. However, like I said, they're going to have their hands full with the Indians. And I'll do my World Series prediction video probably... I don't know, probably tomorrow if I have time... Or Monday if I have time. But it'll be it'll be up there before the game one begins on Tuesday night. And we're gonna be in for a good World Series. I really hope it goes at least six or seven. That'd be one worth seeing. So I don't want it to be one team sweeps the other. I'd like it to go all seven games this year. But that is gonna do it. Like and subscribe to the channel, we're almost to five hundred subscribers. Follow my sports account at JB Talk Sports. That is all I have for you. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you next time.